Okay, hi class. So it is April uh, 6th, 2025, and we've got uh, more flooding here on the Ohio River than we've had in uh, over six years now. And I just want to show you a little bit about what's going on. And while people have been complaining about the parks uh, being underwater, the truth is this is what they're meant to do, okay? So we live in a floodplain. A lot of people do live in floodplains, but that means that we can be smart about how we use the floodplain. And we have here in Cincinnati by putting parks, golf courses, not right here, but elsewhere, and things that are meant to filter the water and really just kind of allow it to be a big sponge. So I'm at Smale Park, as you can see, this is the Roebling Suspension Bridge here, and Smale Park is almost completely underwater, showing you some pretty trees and stuff too. And it's fun to come down here during uh, a flood and see our river system behaving the way it's 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 uh, created to behave. So the floodwaters would be higher if this was all concrete, like it used to be, a big asphalt parking lot instead of grass. But because it's a green space, then the soil is able to absorb water, so the floodwaters don't get as high as they normally would. And it's a park, so you can you know keep people out of it if you wanted to. But there's a lot of people here checking things out. Uh, you can keep property out of the floodwaters too. So there's no fatalities and very, very little flood damage um, because we're smart about how we use the floodplain. So it's very easy for people to kind of see this and be you know, sad to see the parks underwater. But if this wasn't parks, this would be businesses, this would be houses, this could be a hospital, this could be things that you know, would cause fatalities and a whole lot more property damage if, um, if they were to be flooded than a big old green space that actually contributes to keeping the floodwaters lower and allows them to, um, to dissipate faster than they otherwise would. Uh, if this was all concrete, the water would just stand around for days, uh, causing a lot more problems. But because this is a big sponge, the water is going to be absorbed, pulled out of the river system and go elsewhere. And it's not going to, the flood's not going to last as long as it otherwise would. And it's not getting as high as it otherwise would. Uh, and this used to be a big problem in Cincinnati, but this is a really good use of our floodplain that makes uh, our floods not as bad as they otherwise uh, would be. And uh, anyway, it's, it's kind of fun to visit it. So um, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff going on here and seeing the river system behave as they are meant to, uh, doing their job.